Okay, guys, good morning. It's been a crazy couple of days. I'm going to put this toy down for the puppies. Who wants it? Even though a couple of them are sleeping. And we're down to five now, guys. And Sam Shacky. And um, it's, uh, I hope it's going to be sunny today. It's not supposed to. We've been having three, going to have like more days of rain. And we just had a couple more days, which never makes it a joy. But I've been super busy launching. The first three puppies have gone between Tuesday and uh, today, yesterday. I can't get my day straight because I've been up since 2.40 this morning taking little Clover to meet the flight nanny at the Sacramento airport. And over there is uh, BB wrestling with little tiny T. Good boy, T-man and Beebs. And over here into the bag is left our Cosmo, our Honey, and our little Lotus, who's now Ozzy. So Honey leaves tomorrow, probably. And then uh, it's just like um, her owner is having, I think, their first grandbaby, maybe, or maybe at least for that, for that daughter is their first grandbaby. And then little um, Ozzy leaves Monday. And those are my two in California so far. And then I'll take Bibi up north to Oregon in a week and so that will leave me with Cosy and T and I would really like to find show homes for them both. Uh, Cosmo is super flashy but T is beautiful and of course show homes are just a bonus because they have to pass the test of being a perfect loving home first just like Ashley in New Hampshire that's getting clover and I just want to add that that was so incredibly stressful not for the fact that it was a two and a half hour drive and I couldn't find any hotels below uh, $300 that were within like five miles of the airport so I went like 10 miles which was fine but I got up at 2.40 just to make sure I was there but it did all go smooth but none of that matters even the distance or the money or anything it was the handing your copy to a complete stranger and she seemed super responsible so I felt pretty good right away but it's just kind of scary and it's different because um, when you do the uh you know, your puppy owners, you feel like you know them by then, even if you haven't met them after the questionnaire and the FaceTime and all that. So anyway, but because the puppy's going to such a great home, and again, I want to thank Ashley for joining Team Shasta, um, which is why you'll notice a special t-shirt in your bag. Anybody showing got a special Team Shasta t-shirt that is for a little extra bonus on top of their other goodies because um, it is such an honor to have our dogs shown. They are worthy champions almost all instances. We really, I think we only one time had one that started out to show and we decided not to show it. Um, and that was two, well, actually two. One of them is because only one testicle came down, but all these guys have their testicles, but that's pretty normal, but it can happen. And then the other one was because um, the owner went away to Germany, so we, had, we didn't finish, and we ended up staying there. But her brother became a champion, so that was good. But anyway, yeah, it's an honor to have them out there representing. And Ashley herself has already done and shown AM staffs at one point. But now that she's super busy, we may find a handler for him. But either way, he'll be out there showing off and being helpful to have some dogs on the East Coast that might actually get used too to um, with some good stud uh, with some good uh, bitches that I know of some people there. Beavers, are you missing everybody going, huh? She's always more independent though. She tends to go over and sleep on her own or play on her own. And I'm real proud because she's been following me around the yard uh, more and happily. But uh, right now she just looks hunkered in, don't you, little sweet one? Are you a little bit cold? It has been really cold here, but I turned the heat on, so I don't know. She said, fine, I think she's just ready to talk her out. She does things at her own pace and uh, when she wants to. But yeah, I'm already seeing her blossom as far as all the extra stuff we've been doing. Like I say, she started where she was the only puppy I've ever had that wasn't going to follow me around the yard. She kind of just looked the other way and started to go. She didn't take off running the other way. She just kind of did what she wanted to do. But now she'll follow me more eagerly around the yard, which is great. But anyway, as you can see, this pro plan bag always gets a lot of mileage, doesn't it? Um, so there they are having a blast in the eye. I want to just, oh, I guess I should end by one big brag. Is little angelic clover it does make me really proud because i know janae and um 
Sonia are my two previous owners, but they also got puppies this time, and their puppies got settled in Tuesday and are doing remarkably well as well. But one of the joys for me was taking little Clover and getting to the hotel and realizing, wait, I forgot a crate. I had a Sherpa for the little traveling in the car, but even then I just put him in the hammock with his little stuff and he did so great. He did vomit at first, but on the way to the airport this morning, even though he had eaten and everything, not only did he not vomit, he just hunkered right back into his dog bed like he was ready to go in the hammock. But what I was going to talk about was um, I got to the, yeah no crate at the hotel and I realized, well, now what am I going to do? Because I wouldn't be able to sleep well for all five hours that I had if I put him in the bed because I would be fearful that somehow he would just get to the edge and roll off. And so I had to lug down the stooge because it was a Marriott, so like they don't have the cheap Motel 6 mattresses. And I had to pull it down from the bed and it was super heavy. Um, and um, uh, I slept on the floor. Back to the way we were the first four weeks, right guys? I go Shaq, she's looking for her morning groceries. And uh, so yeah, I pulled the bed down and left them a good tip and a note and apologized for it because I certainly couldn't get it back up myself even if it wasn't two in the morning. Um, but uh, Little Clover slept there like he had slept in a bed with a person for his entire life. Of course, Daisy always hunkers down, so those two were kind of together, but sometimes Daisy was at my feet and he was always just right there at my neck, just sleeping so peacefully and bless his little heart. Even though it was a big room, when I woke up, I had two poop pads in different places and he had done two great poops in the middle of the night, gotten his way off the bed, mattress and back on. Because even then, at first he wasn't sure he could get on the mattress that was on the floor, just because it was a new experience. But he figured that out, obviously. And then he went um, and peed on the pee pads too. And he ate heartily and drank at the hotel. And it was his first experience walking in rain. I walked him a bit, just because the one good thing about that Marriott too is it was, um, pets by invitation only, like you had to call and get a special. And so that made me feel really good that it was safe. And you do want to be safe at 2.40 in the morning in Sacramento. Um, anyway, that's my little journey stories. Everybody doing great in their new homes. And well, little Clover's not there yet, but the gal is keeping us surprised uh, of the journey every step of the way. We got a group that a friend recommended that shows dogs that uses a lot called Pups on a Plane and they're licensed and everything. And after that time, I found out there are some people in California, one lady I actually know that I would have used her had I known, but I, it was all new to me. So anyway, I don't plan on doing that ever again unless it's for a family like Ashley's just because of my own personal trauma of handing the puppy off to someone I don't know. But they are licensed and I probably, I'm already feeling a little less anxious since I actually met her, but the prior to that I was so worried about it. But anyway, I'll post pictures on the Facebook page later of him in the hotel and in his little Sherpa beginning his uh, journey. He has to stop in Denver and then go back, so it's going to be like an 11 hour day, which is why I wanted to make sure he ate a lot, right, Jack? You would not want to go that long without food. Shaq, you get nervous when they make noise, huh? Maybe Shaq, he wants the groceries. I'm going to turn this off so that we can feed the other dogs. All right, see ya.